Hi everyone, I'm at the Toronto Pearson Airport and we are traveling to India with our little one. This is our first trip of all four of us together and I am super excited. So we are waiting for some food. My husband has gone to pick up something from Tim Hortons and um, I'm a vegetarian so my choices are kind of limited here so we'll see if I get something to eat or not so guys the situation is that there are no vegetarian options in Tim Hortons there are hardly any vegetarian options in the lounge area whatever options are available um, they're going to take time to prepare them so i am just going to enjoy my coffee and uh, we'll wait to board and i hope i can maybe get a slice of cheese pizza somewhere <laughs> or some kind of sandwich maybe on the go it's kind of sad that uh, north american restaurants and the whole food industry has blocked the whole vegan um, options from coming in i had discussed that in one of my earlier videos on non-fiction books the book was called kitchen protest or protest kitchen and uh, i'll talk about that later or maybe you can go back and watch that video for now our boarding has begun so i have to rush now so Whatever I have to eat, whatever vegetarian options will be in the plane now. So guys, I was wrong. Actually, there are a lot of options here to eat and uh, I could have easily gotten some kind of food, vegetarian food of my choice. But unfortunately, we didn't explore this side of the lounge area and um, this is very close to our boarding gate also but we went to the other side which was less chaotic and which had more seating space this side is obviously more congested more packed so we didn't come this side only but uh, never mind now we are boarding and uh, i'll just give you a glimpse of all the eateries that are available here in case you also happen to come to the Pearson Airport and if you are also a vegetarian like me, you have multiple options to choose from. Just take a look. So inside here is a busy area but you do get some options here and then over here you have more options so yeah this is the place where you can find a pizza shop you can find a burger shop a salad and a soup shop why am i saying shop <laughs> a restaurant maybe so yeah this is a good place to sit and eat and find your vegetarian options and this is very close to the duty-free shops also and honestly i'm actually full after a cup of coffee so while we are waiting for our boarding to begin apparently it was apparently it was a very early call to boarding so since ours is priority boarding we just went straight ahead but we have to wait now so right behind the boarding line this small little shelf of books that's all that they have here other than stuff to munch so yeah that's about it and uh, i don't think i'm going to pick up any book from here I am carrying some of the journals that I bought for my birthday and I showed you in my last video. So yeah, that's it. These are some cute souvenirs here. Some keychains with Canada and CN Tower. Look at these cute little gloves, right? Oh, very pretty. A hundred dollar bill, a five dollar bill with the wolf apparently, right? And the moose. And again, CM Tower. I quite like this one. It's pretty cute. Some more 
more souvenirs here. These are specific to Air Canada passengers and Air Canada flight. Some more souvenirs here. These are coffee mugs, tea mugs, and with very typical Canadian designs on them. Some bottles, some t-shirts, some sweatshirts. Also, the famous maple syrup in cute little maple shaped bottles and i'm actually now tired of seeing all this canada canada written all over i've got an overdose of this now but look at this this looks very cute super super cute right nice stuff And that's my son. I have caught him reading a magazine. Like mama, like baby. Oh, I love that he's he has picked up a book or a magazine or whatever and he's exploring it. So here we are in the bay walking up to our plane so now we are in the plane and uh, waiting for takeoff and also i'm waiting for my food so this is our menu for the entire journey and we have just been informed that there will be more vegetarian options okay so the flight has taken off and uh, i'm just looking at the entertainment menu Let's see what they have here in music. Honestly, I do not watch or listen to anything on the plane for the last, I believe, quite a few times that I have traveled in the past. I do not watch any movie. It's maybe the screen that gives me a headache actually. Or maybe I'm just too tired with my packing and I just want to rest. So even though I pack some books with me, my journals also with me, I barely get time to read on the plane. Most of the times I also find it very hard to choose from these many options, what to watch, what to listen to. I just end up taking a nap. So they have some short films also here. I generally prefer to watch independent cinema and such kind of alternate cinema whenever I get the time to during my flight. But again, I'm right now in no mood to do that. I'm just keep on browsing till my food arrives. So I noticed that in all these categories of movies that they have here, they do not have the category movies based on books. Well then I thought this is the entertainment screen in a plane and this is not Netflix. Share about your favorite movies based on books if there are any such movies. I'm just gonna see if I can play solitaire. You know once I don't know from where I was traveling to where but in the entire flight, of course it was from actually Delhi to Toronto because my husband was with me or maybe it was in one of our flights to Europe taught me to play solitaire and I was throughout the flight playing solitaire so I think I'm gonna play that today what is this happening here on the screen why is it taking too long to load so the solitaire thing is not 
happening. It's taking forever to load. So I'm just getting bored now, half sleepy, half hungry, or actually full hungry. So just waiting and waiting and waiting for the food to arrive. Okay, so my food has finally arrived and let's see what we have here. So this, this is naan of course, this cucumber salad, this is uh, what did they mention some caramel cheesecake and this should be vanilla makhani or something like that. Oh nice. So they have rice. I think this looks like potato maybe and this is a cross potato. So this looks delish and uh, I'm going to dig in now. So guys, uh, we had a sumptuous dinner that we slept off. Most of the time my little kids were also sleeping. So we could get good rest and now we are just two and a half hours away from our destination and we are enjoying a light snack. So what do we have here? We have apple juice, we have some kind of a vegetable roll, I have not opened it and a packet of chips. Okay, so while I'm enjoying this wrap, I don't know if you can see the contents here. It's a burrito wrap. My son is playing chess. And Mama Bear has still not found anything interesting to watch. And we are only 2 hours 20 minutes away from our destination. Okay, so there is one thing that I observed here that uh, the packet in which they wrap the headphones has now been turned from plastic to a paper packet. This paper pouch is actually a very good transition for environmental causes so this is a very good step guys this airlines has taken one more thing um, i have stopped watching news for almost four five months i would say or maybe five six months now the way i used to it's not like i've completely stopped watching news but at least the way I used to because when I was expecting I consciously took this decision not to watch news channels for maybe more than five or ten minutes I used to only catch a glimpse of the main headlines and coming from political science background this was kind of hard for me because uh, I have been mostly glued to television news channels and uh, all these online sources of news because this was part of my profession. It was actually my need to keep, you know, track of all the latest political developments all over the world, Indian politics, world politics. But uh, I realized that in the last few months that I have not watched news in detail, no debates and nothing. Breakfast is now being served, so there is a bit of commotion here. I realized that uh, I am more at peace because whatever we watch, whatever we are constantly feeding ourselves mentally that's what we are always thinking about too frankly news channels especially mainstream media portrays news in very sensational um, light and uh, also it's very depressing so anyway that's the long and short of it our breakfast is alive 
and I'm honestly in no mood to have breakfast right now because I just had that burrito wrap and it was really good and filling. But let me show you what we have here in our breakfast tray. So because we are traveling to India, we will have Indian dishes here. So we have paneer paratha and patra. We have spelled patra as partha and some chickpeas. I really like patra actually. There was uh, once a time when I was working at IIM Ahmedabad. So that's when I was introduced to patra, not par partha. And then we have this bun which is very usual. They always give a bun, some butter, some cut fruits. I never eat cut fruits in a plane. And uh, a small bottle of water, just this tiny bottle, miniature one, which you can carry as a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just asked for some apple juice to keep ourselves hydrated. Water, apple juice, any kind of clear liquid will help you survive the long plane journey. Okay, so now we have two breakfasts here. Earlier I had shown you paratha and patra tray and uh, now we have medu vada with peas, carrots and spinach pakoda. So this was supposed to be our original breakfast and we were actually quite surprised at how we have got paratha and patra. So we asked for medu vada and here it is. Guys, spinach pakoda is good. It tastes just like homemade pakoda. But what I'm surprised about is What's this combination of medu vada with spinach pakora and gajar mutton? I mean, I've never had a breakfast of this combo before. And I'm here to try the medu vada. I'm pretty sure that will also taste fine. But this combination is just amusing. I mean, seriously, gajar mutton, palak pakora, and medu vada. This can happen only in international flights. And in case you are wondering, how come I started having my breakfast so soon when I was saying that I'm already full after the burrito? So thank my husband for that, who insisted that I have hot, warm breakfast instead of having it cold. And also because we are going to land in another hour, hour and a half apparently, so I have to finish it off. So guys, it's only 13 minutes to landing and just excited to reach Delhi now in a matter of a few minutes. And uh, I forgot to mention that uh, the day we are landing in Delhi is Diwali. And uh, even though we will be reaching around uh, night time, it will be quite late in the night uh, when we will be reaching home. But still, I mean, we will be here to celebrate this special occasion with our family members. And uh, we are looking forward to, you know, this whole festive season. And just when we are about to land in less than 10 minutes, I opened this Delhi City Guide and uh, look at some of the places, touristy places that we can visit. Lodi Garden, Gallery of Modern Art, and that's it. Oh, we more. Oh no, that's only for this. So yeah, they do have very basic information here. And then where to shop. I hope Delhi, uh, Delhi Heart features in here. <laughs> no, they have only, oh yes they do, but yeah, they have mostly the boutiques, famous boutiques here, where to stay, let's see, what are the options, Leda, Imperial, Oberoi, Rosier, and Dimodel, so yeah, only 
very few things feature here but uh, of course our daddy is much more than these highlights i'm gonna try some of these restaurants and places that i've not been to for Okay guys, so you can see fireworks from our window. Oh my god, I never thought that I will be traveling to Delhi on the day of the party ever in my life. But this is how it is. And it's Dutch down. We are here. So I noticed a lot of airport staff dressed in ethnic clothes today. I don't know if it's for Diwali or if it's, you know, their new dress code. I really don't know, but it feels so nice. Coffee shop here, Costa coffee shop. And we are heading to the arrivals. I see some new addition here. On the left side, a beautiful peacock. So let's see what it is. Wow, look at that. This is for Diwali. Amazing. Feels so nice. Feels so festive. Beautiful. Welcome to India officially. This is the typical artwork of Delhi International Airport and whenever I see this, oh my god, it does remind me of home and that's where we are. Look at this beautiful artwork. Wow, new art, new design. Delhi duty free. Okay. So we are just going to take a glimpse of the stuff here. Some more stuff in traditional outfits. So we are waiting for our baggage at our assigned belt number. Hubby has gone to pick up the bags while I am taking care of the kids here. And uh, about an hour and a half more to go. But the excitement is still full on. For all the moms who are traveling, I just want to say that there is one diaper changing station here in the washroom which is on your right to the exit not inside the airport and it is right opposite whs smith look at this guys oh my god this is so beautiful this is right at the entrance of the parking i believe and this especially for diwali my god i have never seen the delhi international airport decked up like this before beautiful oh my god lovely okay guys so we are on our way now and uh, it's pretty hot here of course compared to from where we are coming and our jackets are off, the air conditioning is on and uh, also on our way we've seen lights everywhere in Aero City, in Aero City the hotels were all lit up and at different places on our way and uh, it does feel so festive and uh, we have still about 40-45 minutes to reach home. We also have our tricolor lighting up the street light poles here. Wow. Oh. Look at all these. 
these lights guys it's so beautiful and uh, this is what we see during christmas time most of the times back in canada these kind of decorations and this kind of atmosphere is uh, mostly during christmas time over there but uh, we miss all this in canada and uh, it's so so nice to see all the buildings houses shops all lit up even at this time um diwali is almost uh, over but we are just about 10 minutes away from home so very excited still this is very unusual guys we don't see animals especially cows anymore out on the roads it's apparently a rule now apparently there's a rule nowadays that cows cannot just wander and loiter around on the streets um, they have dedicated sheds so that was unusual maybe the cow just walked off the shed so yeah i don't know one more thing i'm super excited about is seeing all these new restaurants and small little eateries opened up here um near my house and <laughs> i'm just so excited because food authentic delhi food the real flavors is something that we miss we do get everything there but uh, i'm just super excited actually to now try all the fabulous mouth watering you know real authentic food i can't believe my family did all of this for our welcome and uh, i am starving so first i'm going to open this box of mithai i hope this is kaju ki barfi let's find out what's in here traditional indian sweets aapke aur aapke apno ke liye from kaleva <gasps> yum i'm not going to count calories on my india trip and happy diwali to you all enjoy oh my god homemade food i asked my mom to ask our cook <laughs> to prepare simple paneer bhurji and parantha i really want comfort food i love comfort food after a long journey so comfort food it is so people i have to end the vlog here because i am a little bit tired from a very long journey and of course i have to go sit talk to my family members i have to spend time with them so i will take your leave for now and uh, we'll meet again soon with my india diaries with my delhi trip food street food books i hope to explore some bookshops also bookstores not bookshops exactly but bookstores so let's see what we have in store in the india trip la 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 okay bye i'm tired bye i am drunk also <laughs> no okay bye